We mark November the 6th, 1947 as the darkest day in the history of Jammu and Kashmir. On that day and in the months of October and November 1947, the Dogra Army, Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sangh and the Indian National Army massacred 237,000 Muslims. This was the first genocide after the Second World War on such a massive scale. From November the 4th to November the 6th, Muslim population of Jammu, Katua, Udhampur and Riyasi were viciously targeted and attacked. Tens of thousands of people were duped into believing that they were being transported to Pakistan, but near Samba, at the Jammu Sialkot Road, they were all butchered mercilessly. Muslims in Jammu were first disarmed and then killed by marauding hordes in their homes and on the roads. Houses were burnt and businesses destroyed. The result, 61% Muslim population in Jammu was reduced to 33%. The Times of London at that time verified that 237,000 Muslims were exterminated in Jammu. The editor of the Statesman, Ian Stephen, in his book Horn Moon, confirmed the murder of more than 200,000 Muslims in Jammu. Horace Alexander confirmed consent of the state authorities for these operations. Ved Bhasan, a journalist who witnessed the massacre, confirmed these killings and the absorption of the genocidiers in the occupied state's cabinet and state apparatus. Crimes against humanity were committed and wiped off as if nothing had happened. No Nuremberg tribunals were set up for punishing the criminals or their patrons. This day remains a blot on humanity. This villainous operation was orchestrated and supervised by Indian Home Minister Sadar Patel, Defence Minister Baldev Singh, Maharaja of Patiala and the Maharani of Kashmir. That murderous campaign against Muslims in Jammu and Kashmir by Hindu extremists continues up to this day. In the past 73 years, 500,000 people have lost their lives to Indian tyranny and terrorism. We demand justice. We will not rest on our oars until we win freedom for Kashmiris. Long live Azad Kashmir. Long live Pakistan.